Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. A little geek, a little chic. Today we're going to talk about organizing all of the books that we have and how to keep them straight. So grab yourself your beverage of choice and let's get into it. Before we get into the um, bookshelf organization app, let's check out our TOTD. <laughs> um, hilarious. Tea of the day from David's Tea. And it is the ninth. And what do we got? Books. Interesting. It might look like there's a little bit of like rose in there. This is a new one. I have never heard of or tasted this. It is called Merry Mistletoe. And I will let you guys know what I think of it. Interesting. Let's get our North Pole update of the day for December 9th. Today we're broadcasting live from Thrill a Minute Hill, where the elves are testing sleds and snowboards. This is no job for wimps. Some sleds can reach speeds up to... This is Jack Deerbrook reporting Hell! There you have it. Sled testing underway. Now, back to today's video. So as I mentioned, we will be using an app that I have um, downloaded from the App Store. I use Google, so it's Google Play App Store. Um, the Apple App Store, I'm sure you can find it there too. This, this app is great. It's super user friendly, quick to use. It is called Bookshelf. I have just started using it, but it, it was so easy for me to use um, that I decided I had to share it with you guys because I used to be the Excel spreadsheet lady. So I had an Excel spreadsheet and I had all of my shelves labeled and numbered so I knew exactly where a book was, what shelf, by what author, and then I could just filter the spreadsheet. If I wanted to know if I had a book when I was out, I had a copy of that spreadsheet on my phone. So it was like no buying multiples on accident. Um, or the other thing that you find, if you're like me, um, good deals on eBooks. So you get a good deal on an eBook you can't let it go for $1.99, especially if it's on your TBR list. You're like, this is one of the hottest books of this year, and it's on my must-read list. Of course I'm going to buy it for $1.99 instead of $25. So, if those books aren't readily available, um, when I'm out, I don't always have my iPad mini, which is what I used to read, um, with me. So I don't know if I have any iBooks because I have a, Gal a Galaxy S9 Plus, I think is the phone I own. So they don't cross, they don't, they're not, some apps like Kobo and Kindle are interchangeable. You can use them cross-platform on multiple devices. iBooks doesn't work that way. So if I've gotten an iBook deal, I don't have that copy with me to know if I have that book already. So it's important to have my spreadsheet until this came along so that I could easily check and see if I had a book. Uploading was tedious because you had to manually type in everything. This app allows you to scan a barcode and will automatically enter the book into your inventory or onto your wish list, which is a super exciting feature, especially for this time of the year. If you love books and you'd like to get some for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is that you celebrate, um, if you're asking for books, people would love to buy you books, but they want to buy you stuff that you don't own. So you can make a big list, a wish list, and put it out to the family and say, hey, here's the books I want. So we're going to turn this around. I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and then we will show you how we use the bookshelf app and how easy it is to keep your books organized. 
So I am sharing my screen with you guys here. This is the bookshelf app in the center. Below it's the forced app, but we're not talking about that one today. That's my productivity app. Um, click on that and it brings up the app. It opens the app. This app was free. I got it from Google Play um, in their app store. I believe there's a version for iOS, but if not, there is similar versions out there, different apps and stuff where you can organize similar to this. The feature I really liked about this one is that I can scan books. Because I went and, as you saw in a previous video, decorated my bookshelves by color, it's nice to know what the cover looks like so that I can kind of gauge where it is on the shelf. So once you get into the app, um, you can set up shelves for yourself. So in my case, I set up a home library, a Kobo library, a Kindle library, and an iBooks. So I've been going through and adding the stuff from my Kindle library, my Kobo library, and my home library. I haven't started on the iBooks yet. The reason I did this is because iOS um, iBooks is on my iPad mini, and I rock an Android, sorry about that, I rock an Android phone. So they, they're not cross compatible. So when I'm out at the bookstore, I can see what books I own on a Kobo and on a Kindle, but I can't see my physical books and I can't see my iBooks. So I figured if I could find an app that worked for me, that showed me everything I have in one spot, that would be ideal. So what I've done here, as you'll see, is I've set up, like I said, my different libraries and I've started plugging in the books. You can add your books, and then now I have this app on my phone, and I can look at it when I'm out. Um, the way to add your books, there's a bunch of ways you can add books. So let's say I have a book to add to my shelf. What you do is you'd say add down here at the bottom, and it gives you your options. You can scan your book with the barcode. You can batch scan books, which is a nice feature if you have a whole bunch to put in. Uh, you can search books by keyword or their um, barcode, or you can enter a new book manually. So if the book that you have doesn't come up because it's an indie author or something nobody's entered into this yet, you can add the cover and the description and enter the book yourself manually. So that's also a good option if you have books that, or you have friends, let's say, that are writers and they've given you a book that um, it's not super publicly available just yet. You can still add it to your library. So, let's say that I want to scan a book. And the scanner comes up. Now I have a book in front of me. And we will, oops, I took too long. Scan the barcode. And there you have it. The Martian by Andy Weir. I'm told it's a good book. I have not yet read it. It's on my backlist books. Um, so what I would do is I would pick a library. It is my home library, so that's correct. Here you can add tags. So I've added the science fiction tag and I've added that it's a mass market paperback. So I know that it's not with all the other books on my library shelf because I kind of keep the mass markets separate. Um, just because of their size, it looks kind of funny on the shelf. Okay, and if I wanted to add, you can add any demographic or tag, they call it, you choose. You can even add your own tags. So let's say I wanted to add a tag that says space, because it's a space theme book. I would add that tag, okay, save it, and then it would automatically select that for that book, or you can, and then it's in there in the future, which is what I've done for some of, you'll see my Christmassy ones. So that when it comes in like my spooky reads, I call them, where is that there? Spooky reads up top here, because when it comes time for Halloween reads or Christmas reads, I want to just see what I have so that I know what I have and what I've read because you can rate your books on here, which is super awesome. So let's say that's good. It's all there. Say if sounds great, save. Um, of course it says it wants me to rate the app. Just not yet. I'm actually giving you a review right now. <laughs> um, now, let's say I went into my library and we'll go to the physical library because just for sense. And I have Nevermore. As you can see in here, if you've read it, 
you can say how far along you are in the book, like right here. You can put how many pages you've read so far. So you can track your progress. You can pick your start date to the, when you began reading the book and your end date when you finish reading the book. So that's a great feature. Um, it's, for me, I'm gonna clear it because I have not done either of those. It's in my home library, it's in the middle grade section. Um, you can enter a note about the book. Series, this is a series. So it's volume one in the series. So that's accurate. And if it was different, you could change it in there. If you lent out this book, let's say I lent this book out to a friend, you could put in there who you lent it to. Okay, so I have a book that I have lent out um, to a friend of mine. And I haven't got that back yet. So I gotta <laughs> make sure I go there and mark that down so that I know where my book went. But let's say I lent this one out to Trish. And I lent it out on December 9th, sure. And I can even, if I want to, give them a due date, but I, we usually don't um, give that our friends due dates. What you can also do is you can track your library books and stuff this way. You can put them in a, you can make, what I would do is I would make my own shelf for the library books or borrowed books I have for my friends. And you can click on the book and write borrowed so that it shows that you borrowed it or lent if you lent it out to somebody so that you know whether you have to return it or they have to return it. And you can use it to uh, keep track of due dates that way too. So if you want to do that, that's also an option for this app. That's a really cool feature. Next thing that this app does here is allows you to explore things. So you can look through here and see what people have added recently and like bestsellers or whatever you want. Like so business, photography, crafts, crime, fiction. So for us, we'll just say fiction. And here's what comes up. Now here are some books that I'm interested in. And let's say I'm like, oh, I don't really want to remember to get that book. So I click on this. See up in the top uh, right hand, there's a little heart that's lit up. That means I've added that to my wish list. This app lets you make a wish list so you can keep track of books that are coming out that you would like to purchase. So that's a great feature that I really like. Um, I've, <laughs> I've utilized that quite a bit this winter. Um, so let's say, just for the sake of showing you how to add stuff, that uh, I'm just going to pick one here that I know I don't have. So Giver of the Stars by Jojo Moyes. It's just here. It's colorful. It looks like books. So we'll click on this. Let's say I read it and uh, you can read more in the description here by clicking read more. Sounds good. I'm interested in reading this book. I'm going to put it on my wish list so that when I'm out at the bookstore, I'm like, oh, is there any books that are on my wish list that I'm really interested in getting? I can go see them. So here you click the heart. It fills in that heart and it tells you that this book was added to your wish list. Perfect. Now let's go back. And let's see our wish list. So at the bottom of the main panel, you will see it says bookshelf, which is where you can see all the books you have, explore, which is what we're in right now, add to add a book to your collection or your shelves, and wish list, which you click on that and it will show you everything that you've added. Now if you end up receiving them as a gift, you can take them out of here, you can add stuff to them, but you can see you can keep track. And then if people ask you at times like Christmas and, and whatnot, what you'd like, you can actually share your wish list. So there's a share icon up here in the top corner and you can pick who you send it to. All right, so next, settings. This is just where you change and update all your stuff. I'm not gonna go into it because I've got some of my personal information's in there. Yeah, that is the basics of the bookshelf app that I'm currently using. Really enjoying it. Again, it's super customizable, so you can add any tags or anything that you personally want to organize your books. That's it. Wasn't that easy? I am loving this app. This is not a sponsored video. They don't know why I'm doing this. I just downloaded this app 
it kept me in check. It made organizing super simple. I have the free version. I'm pretty sure that's all that's available, but if, there, if not, let me know down in the comments if there's more. Also, let me know what you do to organize your books. Do you use, are you like me, the Excel queen and have a spreadsheet with all your books on it? Or do you use a different app? That would be nice to know. Another thing I need you guys' help with is Goodreads. So I have read a lot of books this year and Goodreads just for some reason does not want to accept the start and end dates of my books. So it looks like I haven't achieved my goal when I know I've come close, if not surpassed my reading goal already, but I can't seem to make Goodreads update properly. Do you guys have that problem? And if you have, how did you overcome that and uh, fix that? What's the solution there? Because I would love to be accurate on Goodreads and have you guys as friends. So come join me on Goodreads. Also, if you know how to let people add you as a friend, because apparently people can't find me. I am not a Goodreads... Uh, I'm not good at Goodreads, you guys. I'm trying, trying very hard at the Goodreads, but I guess maybe I'm just not the Goodreads kind of person. So yes, help me out. Let me know in the comments below what I do to fix this. And as always, like if you like this video and if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you want to be my friend on here, which I would always appreciate. You can also find me over at Instagram, a little geek underscore a little chic. For all my bookish content, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching my video, and thanks for, being, for liking and subscribing so we can be friends.